Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luis Chavez. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of Southern California. And in today's video, I just wanna talk about what's in my bag. I watch a ton of these videos all the time and I'm always interested to see what's in other photographers' uh, daily carry or in the bags that they use for work. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about three different setups that I use, whether I'm going out about in the town, on a day trip, or out on a job. So for everyday life, I just take a small bag for, with a point and shoot most of the time. Sometimes I take a slightly bigger bag, but on most cases, this is the bag I carry. So this, this bag is from Peak Design. I believe it's the five liter uh, sling. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like carrying a lot of stuff all the time. So whenever I'm just going out in the town and I keep it relatively simple. So in this bag, I have just a couple little things. So as most of you are familiar with my channel, I use the Ricoh GI3 for most cases. This is my daily camera, my uh, go-to point and shoot camera that I recommend to everybody who's kind of interested in going back to basics with photography and just kind of having a powerful camera in a small compact size. So this is the digital camera that I carry um, everywhere. And it's been my favorite camera for the past year or so. So it's a great little camera and has great autofocus, great um, colors straight out of the camera if you want to just take JPEGs, but also great RAWs if you like to edit your uh, photos in post. Uh, as of lately, what I've been carrying also, um, which may be a surprise for a lot of you, um, is this, it's a film camera. And what's interesting about this film camera is that it is not just any other uh, point and shoot film camera, it's actually the Ricoh GR1. This is a film camera that um, the same company made uh, in 1997. So I was interested to see what um, film versus digital would be like for these both of these point and shoot cameras. So I'm working on a video to compare both of these. And I've been shooting with this camera for the past week and it's been awesome. I'm not a big um, film shooter. I, I haven't shot a lot of film, but um, I'm trying to get into it. So this is like my little gateway to it. So it's a point and shoot still, and it's the same equivalent 28 millimeter lens um so yeah i've been testing this out i have a roll of portra 400 in here and um so this is in my camera bag as of lately and it comes with this little pouch uh, it's actually not my camera this is my father-in-law's camera who uh was gracious enough to let me borrow this so I've ha i'm gonna have it for the next month or so and besides that i also have a couple ro rolls of film which is uh, just a couple portra 400 rolls i had these for a while um, about a month or so uh, that I was going to use for a different camera, but I ended up using it for this. I know most people would use a uh, different film for this, but I'm new to it. And Portra 400 is something I always see everywhere. So I'm just interested to try this out since I'm a primarily digital shooter. So the other things that are in my bag are little things such as my wallet that I keep in here. Um, it's a relatively small wallet. And I also keep uh, my AirPods Pro. Um, Whenever I'm out shooting by myself, I usually put on a podcast or some music and I go out to shoot if I'm just shooting for personal stuff around town. So this is always in here. And what's cool about this, also this uh, bag, is that it has a little compartment for little things such as batteries. So I always keep an ex a couple extra batteries for the Rico since the Rico doesn't have the best battery life. So I keep two extra batteries apart from the, um, the one that's already in the camera. So yeah, I mean, it's relatively simple. Everything fits in here nice and easy. Uh, like I said, I'm a big proponent of not carrying more than you need to, because then you shoot less, specifically when you're out about in town, you're not really shooting for work or anything like that. So this bag has been great for that. It's nice and compact, and I don't have to uh, carry a lot of things or have the uh, mentality that I need to pack it with stuff. So for the next setup, it's more of a day bag. So if we're driving out to a city that's not near us, I kind of want to bring a, a little bit more stuff, but still not jam pack it with things that I don't need. This this is the Ona bag. Uh, this is the Ona Bowery. Um, we've had this for a couple of years. We usually use it for travel and stuff, but we also use this for portrait shoots or weddings if we want to carry around a couple of lenses. So again, I try to keep it as minimal as possible, uh, which it doesn't always work out, but I always try to. So for this bag, um, it has the typical stuff that I already discussed. So it has both of the Ricos, the Ricoh GR3 and the Ricoh 
GR1 in digital. So they're all both in this compartment, along with some film, again, Porsche 400 that I'm testing out. And it has these little two bags or two pockets here that I use to you put my wallet in here and um, a couple of the extra batteries. So one and two of the Rico batteries, which again, Rico batteries, uh, they're not the best. So I always keep a couple of them here along with my AirPods in this pocket. And the newest addition to my kit, which I'm super, super pumped about. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I added this to my kit. And ever since I reviewed it, I knew I had to, um, this was the Leica for me because I always wanted the Leica, but I was waiting around to see if the uh, film was the right fit for me. But um, with the way that this camera shot and the way that I like to shoot primarily, I knew that this is uh, the best, um, best of both worlds to me because it has all the minimal controls that I like on what digital uh, cameras do and it kind of inspires me to shoot. So I'm super thankful and grateful that I can uh, add this camera to my kit. So right now I only have one battery because um, the battery life in this is not bad. So if I'm going out to, for a day trip, I usually bring this along anyway. And I usually don't go near, near like half a battery. So um, I don't feel the need to bring an extra battery with me. And it just kind of weighs the whole thing down. So yeah, the Leica Q2 is in my bag as of lately. And I've really, really enjoyed shooting with this bag or with this camera in this bag. So it's nice and compact. It doesn't weigh all that much. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Oh, and it has this pocket back here, which I usually keep a um, SD card uh, case with a bunch of SD cards. I usually don't need more than one uh, at all, but it's nice to bring a couple of extra ones just in case along with a lens cloth. So yeah, that's everything that's in this bag and typically what I bring on a day trip. So the last kit that I usually carry with me is if I'm doing any paid work, such as portraits or weddings. So typically I like to bring a bigger bag and we use bigger cameras anyway. So for my last setup, it's also a bag by Ona. It is the, I believe it's called the Prince Street bag. Um, this is a satchel bag as well, like the on a Bowery is and typically what we have in here um, are a bunch of stuff. Um, so what we have in here is the Sony a7 III. Um, we've been using this camera for about, since it came out actually in 2018. So it's been really good and this is the, the camera that we typically use for paid shoots. So um, yeah, this is, this is a great camera. Um, paired it with uh, this um, nice little leather uh, strap and it comes or the lens I typically shoot on is this 55 1.8 by uh, Zeiss It's a really beautiful lens and I would get really nice results for portraits specifically with this lens. I usually like to stick with uh, Primes uh, my wife usually sticks with zoom. So it works out really nicely that we get that variety So yeah, this this uh, Sony a7 III has been great for us in terms of any paid shoots or um, portraits or yeah, anything like that. This has been a great camera. And usually I don't pick this camera up unless I'm shooting um, any kind of uh, paid work. So it typically just stays in my bag unless um, we're on vacation. I tend to bring more stuff along. But yeah, this a7 III has been great with this 55 um, Prime. Yeah. So this is usually in here. This is my camera. And in here, I also have usually uh, we both bring very minimal gear with us, but this is my wife's favorite lens. This is the um, Tamron 20 to 75 for Sony, and it has a great range. And, and throughout the the, um, the zoom between the 20 and the 75, it's great for portraits or if you want to get you know. Because I usually stick stick to 28 for like wider shots. I know most people like to do 16 or 24, but 28 is that sweet spot for me that doesn't look like crazy wide and also it's not super tight. So 28 to uh, the 75 uh, focal length is great um, for any type of work. So this is a very versatile lens. It's very sharp and so it's always with us. And the last lens we usually use for portrait work or for weddings is this um, 85 1.8 by Sony. Um, I don't have like the, the most expensive lens that Sony carries for the 85, but uh, like a 1.4 or anything like that, but 1.8 is great. It has really, really shallow depth of field and it gives us really beautiful images. And so I don't feel the need to get the 1.4 because when, uh, you know, 
we shoot for wedding or we used to shoot for weddings uh, like bigger weddings uh, once the um, the wedding dies down and um, for speeches or anything like that I usually light everything because I'm a video guy anyway so I don't feel the need to need to have the 1.4 aperture but this lens has been great for that too and in this bag I uh, always keep one of these blowers for the lenses so I'm not using uh, my lens cloth for everything I usually do this first and if I need to I run it through a with a lens cloth and in these pockets I usually keep an extra battery the battery life in these cameras is amazing so I, we usually both stick to two batteries each so uh, other than that we have an extra charger that we use in our Pelican but other than that it's we don't usually need that many batteries in here and again my wallet's in here my airpods and then I typically put the lens caps in here so I don't lose them so yeah this is the bag that I use for weddings and portraits and all that stuff so if you guys have any questions on my kit or anything like that these are just the setups I use for different purposes and like I've said from the beginning I believe that cameras are great in their tools so they're great for different uh, a wider range of different things so I don't usually use the same cameras for everything and I know not everybody is has the same ability to have different kits but uh, I'm a photographer uh, that's my day job so I'm grateful and fortunate enough to have all these cameras around for me but um, again, you don't need to have the biggest camera in the world to shoot great photos. So if you have a smaller kit, um, it usually makes you, especially if you're doing stuff for uh, like a personal project or anything like that, if you bring less stuff with you, you're more likely to shoot more. So with any of my bags, I try to stick to the minimum amount of gear. So I make sure that I shoot more instead of uh, wondering which lens or which camera I should shoot on. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe so you're notified whenever I post new videos. Like I said, I'm working on a Ricoh GR1 versus GR3 video, film versus digital. Not so much what's better, but the differences between the two of them in look and in um, uh, just the overall image. So if you are excited to watch that video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.